Hello, and welcome back to Jenna Gets Creative. Today, it's time for episode two of the Kinder Egg Challenge. What's the Kinder Egg Challenge? Well, if you missed episode one, I will put it in the iCard right now and in the description down below. But basically, you get yourself a Kinder Surprise egg or any other blind bag toy situation. You open it up, find out what toy you got, and that toy is your art prompt. I would love to see what you do with the Kinder Egg Challenge, so please do tag me in your artwork, use the hashtag Kinder Egg Challenge, and uh, yeah, share it with me. Today we got some sort of tractor, so I decided to go with a farming past versus present illustration. I did half of the image as a tractor and half of the image as a horse in plow harness. So tractor representing present and the horse representing past. I'm using my Daler Rani gouache. Uh, half of the palette you just saw is the Daler Rani gouache and half of it is a watercolor. I'm not going to say much about that watercolor because I am waiting for the new year to use it, and you will find out why when I use it. <laughs> but yeah, not using that watercolor, just using the gouache on the one half. I had a lot of fun drawing this illustration purely because of the horse. I love horses, and I love drawing horses. I decided to make the horse a uh, Belgian draft which I believe is pretty much the same breed as the French Brabant, just slightly different uh, breeding lines, separated fairly recently as far as breeds go, kind of like the Spanish Pureblood and the Lusitano. I don't know if it's uh, actual proven canon, but I've always been under the impression that Philippe in the animated Disney Beauty and the Beast is this type of horse, and I was really disappointed to see in the live action that they used a grey, because, you know, the, the Belgian draft isn't grey, so it's clearly not that breed, and just, I don't know, the, the size and the build of the horse they used in that movie. It really does look like it's an Iberian horse, be it a Spanish pureblood or a uh, Los Tano. In North America, we tend to say Andalusian when we're talking about the Spanish pureblood, but in Spain, they wouldn't use that term. That's just one region of Spain, and in North America, it's acceptable to cross the Spanish pureblood and the Lusitano lines and call it an Andalusian, but if you did that in Spain, it would not be a pureblood horse, it would be a mix. Just a little <laughs> horse nut trivia. If you're new here, please do subscribe to the channel. I put out a minimum of two art videos a week. On Tuesdays, they are straight-up art videos. If they're not a pure time-lapse painting video like this one, they're a subscription box unboxing and challenge completion. On Thursdays, sometimes I do tutorials, sometimes I review some sort of art product, and sometimes I get a little crafty. And then, of course, some weeks I do release a third video, Normally my bonuses go out on Friday, unless I'm doing a collaboration or ending a contest or something like that, and it just has to be another day. So if you like this, you'll like most of what I put out, if not all of it, and I'd really love to have you here and see you again. <laughs> I'm also looking to start featuring people in my end cards. So if you'd like to share your art with me and possibly see it in my videos, go ahead and follow me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you use the hashtag LookJennaYT, I will see it and I will know that you are giving me your permission to show it in my end cards here on YouTube. You will be credited, of course. 
something I'm asking my viewers recently. Uh, if you'd like to leave a comment down below, please do tell me how did you find my channel? Are you viewing this video as the first experience on my channel? Are you a returning viewer? And yeah, how did you find me? I do promote my videos quite a bit on, across social media and on Amino apps, but I do sometimes have help and I'd like to know where that content is coming from. And if you're a returning subscriber, or sorry, if you're a returning viewer, are you a subscriber? Are you notification squad, as they say? Or uh, did you just come across this in suggested videos because you've seen it before? Or maybe you haven't seen it before, but you saw somebody else's video and it was similar? Yeah, let me know. Also, on a similar line of thinking, uh, you may have seen in the very recent past that we launched a joint group collaborative art channel known as the Art Warriors. October was a focus on traditional art, November will be a focus on digital art, and we are looking actively for lots of new team members and contributors because uh, we we don't have enough, we're kind of scrambling. <laughs> so I'll leave a link to the channel, that channel down below. Uh, I am going to be doing my very first recorded digital art piece for that channel for November. And we'll have our friend Lolly B probably uh, showing us all up with her skills because she is a digital artist. And we'd love to have you join the team if you are an artist. The channel doesn't just do traditional and digital, we would like to have some months that focus on animation, or photography, or crafts. But right now we just don't have enough contributors for those other categories. Of course, we are also always looking for more traditional and digital artists, and if you can do even more than just one of those categories, great. I'm certainly trying to do most of them. I kind of stopped talking about the video there. Uh, I am going over the painting with Prismacolor pencils. I love doing colored pencil on top of watercolor or gouache paints. I really like being able to bring out the texture of the paper while, you know, skipping a lot of the process of layering and layering and layering and burnishing to hide the color of the paper. So here it is. I hope you like my uh, my interpretation of farming, past versus present. And I guess I will see you in the next one. We will have a craft video on Thursday. If you enjoyed this, please do hit the like button, leave a comment down below. I do my best to reply to everybody. I love reading your comments and I often pin one. So it could be you. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. As always, I will see you later. Bye.